Amy. Amy. I'll do it. I swear. I'll do it. Amy. Tell me what I want to know. I'm not messing around. Amy. Shh, give me a sec. Give it up or I swear I'll drop you right in that boiling water. Are you mugging a tea bag? Don't be silly. I'm giving you to the count of three. One. What are you hoping? Two. You've done some strange stuff before, Amy, but this may be the weirdest. Two and a half. I don't think tea counts. What? Counting? I don't think tea does that. I mean, for all it knows, between one and three comes two, two and a half, guinea pig, and fruit loops. Heck, <laughs> it might think it's got a, like, a good week before it needs to make a decision. I hadn't thought about that. All right, listen up, you. This is how it's going to go. Either you start talking or you're getting thrown in there. I'm going to count to three, and that consists of the numbers one, two, two and a half, and then three. And that's when you get dunked. Understand? None of this two, three, then dunk on three. You may not even hear the three if your ears are at the bottom because they'll be touching the water at that point. Now, one. What exactly are you trying to beat out of the little baggie? Not beat out, threaten. I tried beating some others, but they broke. And um, not in a good way. Still, uh, what are you... Hang on. Two. What? What are you hoping to... Oh, um, right. I was watching a bunch of reruns late last night and... Quick aside. How late? I don't know, around two, and one of these commercials was for this chamomile and vanilla tea. What? What? A chamomile and vanilla. You mean chamomile? Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> I'm never gonna guess that. It looks like chamomile or chamomile. Didn't they say it in the commercial? Maybe, but I had the TV muted. Everyone was sleeping, and I actually like watching the reruns without the sound anyway. Uh-huh. That way I can make up my own dialogue. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Anyway, uh, the commercial said, and I quote, that Shemamali and Vanilla Tea holds the secret to a good, night, good night's rest. And I thought, what an amazing coincidence that this particular commercial would come on just now as I'm watching TV. At 2 a.m. Right. And so I figure it's some kind of sign. You know how much trouble I've had with sleeping ever since I got my grades last week? And um, I... Uh, Have you been up this whole time? It's nearly one in the afternoon. Have you really been up since? Anyway, um, so I just figured that this tea holds the secret and I- Amy, it's a commercial. Companies can say anything they want on- I know, do you think I don't know that? I did my research. Uh-huh. What? Research? I looked up Chamomile and Vanilla Tea and their website confirmed that this brand of tea is the secret to a good night's sleep for nearly 4,000 years. There. 4,000 years. I mean, holy shit, Donna. How can we let that much time slip without even trying to throw out that information? I'm not the first person to have a sleepless night. Whose website? But then it occurred to me that maybe people have tried, but they just didn't know how, you know? So I, what? What website? Um, for the commercial. I mean, they know, right? Right. So I thought that maybe people had the same thought. 4,000 years, that's a long time. Someone must have tried this already. And then I thought, nowadays, we have new techniques, like all that waterboarding stuff that was in the news a while back. Has anyone ever tried something new and clever like that? Whoa, slow down, Amy. First, God, where even to begin? First, waterboarding is like 600 years old. It is? Yeah, not new. Second. Waterboarding is a way to simulate drowning. You can't waterboard a tea bag because it doesn't have a mouth. Oh. What you're threatening to do is um, actual drowning or boiling. And both of those have been used as torture techniques for at least 4,000 years. Oh. Also consider, this particular tea bag has itself not been around for 4,000 years. It was probably manufactured like a year ago. They said it was an ancient Chinese secret. This stuff comes from Tulsa. 
I am very disappointed in you. It's not the tea bags. Two and a half. Give me that. No, I'm going to get the secret out of this little fucker no matter what it takes. Just give me. Give me. It's obviously not going to talk. It's had all the time in the world. And I have an idea. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I can't believe you just did that. Amy? I mean, I know I was threatening it, but those were just threats. I never would have really. Amy. Look at that. It's life essence. It's just being sucked out of it. It's just swirling around. Like, oh, hey. It, it's kind of like when the Dementors are sucking out the life of Harry and Sirius Black. Remember? Amy. Oh my God. You. You're the Dementor in this. How could you do this? I thought I knew you. We had microbiology together. I never suspected that you had this cruel, vicious streak in you. Not like this. I know you're overtired, but... What are you? Some kind of heartless terrorist? Me. How could you do that? Without even letting it say goodbye to its lover? You beat the crap out of, like, five tea bags over there, Amy. Five. At least. Accidents. All accidents. Every single one. I never meant to hurt them. I had no idea how fragile they were. Five times. The first time, I thought that maybe that one was just effective. And then after the second, I thought maybe if I hit them instead of pretending to rip, but then I tried. <laughs> Donna, what if I died? What if I become, I'm just like you, a, a monster, a terrible, horrible harbinger of death and destruction? <laughs> Come here, bring it in. Donna pulls a chair up to where Amy is, sits and pulls Amy over against her shoulder. It's okay, it's okay. Let it all out, that's right. Don't you worry about ruining my new blouse, it's fine. It was already two whole days old and you know I don't like to wear things for more than an hour before someone leaks mucus all over. Oh my god. No, no, it, it's fine. I got I got I got it. An A minus, I know. But it was in cellular biology. That's a tough class. Your parents will understand. It's okay. I'm sure everyone else in the class will still envy and hate you next semester. Really? You're, you're not just saying that? Of course I'm not. They're there. <sighs> That's a girl. That's right. Just leave. You are so buying me a new blouse. <laughs>